Good morning, friends. Today we will set up our IntelliJ project, and that would be our MAMA setup. So in our previous videos, we have already installed all the necessary softwares required for uh, Apache Spark. I think, but one uh, one important uh, file was missed. So as we install only for Windows, we installed winutils.exe where the location given here. But uh, I think we also have to copy this Hadoop.dll. Just note that this is only for Windows. So this also needs to be copied, this Hadoop.dll. I mean, I have given the description uh, in, in the, the link uh, description in, in the description. So just copy this Hadoop.dll and place it into uh, your Spark Home bin folder. So it should be here. So my Spark Home bin folder is, is this one. So I have already downloaded it here, Hadoop.dll. So this was one file which was missed in the previous video to be installed. So once this is done, now let's start up with the setup of Marvin project. So I open my IntelliJ, go to File, New, Project. And then choose Marvin here. So you can see like Java, Data, Android, just choose Maven here because we will be building a Java Maven project and choose the JDK 11 version that, that has already been installed previously and click on next. And now just create the project uh, that uh, for Apache Spark. So I will mark it as Java Spark. Or maybe Java Apache Spark to just to make it uh, unique and I will put it into my downloads folder. You can place it anywhere you want, uh, the location here, but uh, just keep the name as Apache Spark, Java Apache Spark. And for the group ID, I will change it uh, to com dot back street programmer. Okay. That's everything looks good. We have got a group ID and artifact ID correct version is you can keep it as default. And let's click on finish. So it will create uh, the new project for me first, and then we will start uh, configuring the pom.xml uh, accordingly. The new project is created now, but before uh, I start uh, configuring the pom.xml, this is the pom.xml. Let's uh, check the basic settings. So I'll go here, do a right click, and click on open module settings. Or we can also choose F4 just to check what are the JDK dependencies and all. So the project, I will just check the HDK is 11. Language level is HDK default 11. For the modules, also I will check the module HDK is dependencies is uh, 11. Paths and everything looks looking good. And we have check for libraries, facets, artifacts, HDKs. I will mark it to HDK 11 again and uh, rest everything looks good so our basic model settings are good so click on ok now let's start configuring the pom.xml so here first of all i will create the source encoding should be utf8 and output encoding should also be utf8 so let's let me quickly create this so project.build.source encoding should be utf8 similarly i'll do control d here and the so output encoding should be also UTF-8. Okay, so these two settings are done now. Let, now let me actually create a variable for Java version. I would be using Java 11. So instead of hard coding it as 11, I will I prefer to choose a variable here in the properties. So for that, I will put Java dot version as 11. Okay, and now here. In the com in the Maven compiler source and target, I will use this variable. So the way we do it in properties is we just I just copy this and put it into a variable format placeholder. So that should be dollar inside curly braces this Java version. So for the target also, I will do the same. Just copy this and put it here. So for Apache Spark version, we have downloaded three dot three dot one. So I will do the same here. So I will put Apache Spark. All these are working as a variable as we do it in our uh, normal programming. So it's very much similar to that. So 3.3.1. And similarly for Hadoop version, it should be 3.3.4. So 
so i'll do this and uh, just mark this as hadoop as soon as i change it the ending tag is already automatically done by intellij uh, so just 3.3.4 dot, dot so we have got apache version and java version and all now let's do it for our j unit versions and mockito versions and then we should be done with the properties so once we are done with our j unit platform version uh, i've taken the latest version 5.9.2 and for mockito also it's 4.11.0 now the properties have been defined here now let's put the dependencies for this project now to add the first dependency which is spark core so i will uh, alt insert and dependency and i will type spark core here so spark core i want app or dot apache for spark this is the and i will use uh, 2.13 so or spark core this one i will just add it here and then i will change it to 2.13 which of this is one i am going to use group id is correct and for the version uh, we have already defined here as uh, 3.3.1 so i will use this so for that i will choose the same uh, property holder format that syntax that has been used so i will use here apache spark version apache spark now we have got this dependency so similarly i will add for other dependencies so i'll just copy this to save some time and for spark sql now yeah so uh, you're getting this and uh, group id is looking correct now we have got this main spark core and spark sql now copy uh, now let's uh, add a dependency for hadoop so first we will uh, add a dependency for hadoop hdfs so again alt insert dependency and i will type hadoop hdfs and i got for this one so i want for this one uh, or apache dot hadoop so i will click enter and here again we have got the hadoop version in uh, hadoop version uh, as 3.3.4 so i will choose that so let me copy this placeholder first and then i will mark here as hadoop version yes so hadoop version we have already declared above so delete this yes so hadoop version is called 3.3.4 so this is what we are using as a so that's why we are uh, whenever we want to change uh, this version to a different version we don't need to change for each and every dependencies we can just go here and change the version here so that's the there's a there's a benefit of using it as a properties we can change the version number just here and the corresponding dependencies version number would be changed automatically and we should only use it only once we have got so many dependencies for the same um, for the same software for example, for Hadoop, we will add some more dependencies for Hadoop. So I have uh, added uh, three more dependencies for Hadoop. Hadoop Common, Hadoop Client, and Hadoop AWS. Although we are not going to like use directly from AWS here, we will use it uh, in AWS EMR once we have a demonstration on that. But just for the sake of uh, just a unit test case here, I have added this. So four dependencies on Hadoop. Now let's add other dependencies that will be required for this project. So I I have added Guava for and Commons Langtree from Apache Commons just for having some util functions and methods that we'll be using in this tutorial series. Now let's add for JUnit and Mockito. So I have added uh, three dependencies for JUnit with the scope as testing: uh, JUnit uh, Jupyter API, JUnit Jupyter Forums, and engine so these are all required for our testing then i've added uh, other testing frameworks like srj core hamcrash library and finally the mockito dependencies mockito core and mockito j unit jupyter all these versions have been defined in the properties so i think we are done with all the dependence dependent uh, dependencies here so now let's uh, add the plugins but before that, let's revise that what uh, what are the dependencies that we have just added. So we have added Spark Core, Spark SQL, four dependencies for Hadoop, Hadoop HDFS, Hadoop Common, Hadoop Client, Hadoop AWS, 
and then some util uh, dependencies libraries like guava and apache commons after that we added all those testing frameworks like junit junit uh, jupyter api jupyter params engine and assert jcore and hamcrest library and finally we added dependent dependencies for mockito which is mockito core and mockito junit jupyter now i think the dependencies are looking good now let's add the plugins for build now the, now the first uh, plugin that i will add is maven compiler plugin so I'll, so this is maven compiler plugin and the version 3.8.0 so let me add other uh, plugins required next i added plugin for our unit test running which is maven surefire plugin but i have to add this configuration here because we are using gdk 11 which doesn't uh, which has got a lot of restrictions for third party access libraries that's why we have to provide this configuration as illegal access is equal to permit. After that, we can avoid all those warnings that we receive. Similarly, for this is for the J unit test. Now I will add it for integration test now. Now I've added the plugin for fail safe plugin, which is for integration tests. And here also we have provided the art line as illegal access is equal to permit to avoid those warnings. And also I've added the uh, execution goal here to for uh, just for integration test and the goal is to verify so we have added three plugins now now let's add uh, some more plugins so i have just the last plugin is uh, maven site plugin just for creating the maven site if needed so this all completes our uh, build plugins that that is required the final uh, configuration that i will i will add is for reporting so this is our reporting plugin where i have added uh, maven Surefire report plugin, which is just for the reporting purpose. This is optional. If you don't want to use it, then you can skip it. For the whole uh, reference of this form.xml, you can find it in the GitHub. I will provide the link in the description of this video. And I think I, we are done with all those uh, plugins addition as well. And our Maven dot, uh, sorry, Maven form.xml is looking complete now. Now, as we are done with our pom.xml, adding all those uh, dependencies and uh, build plugins, now let's refresh our Maven so that it can download all those necessary dependencies. So as I clicked it, it's re reloading all those resolving dependencies of this project. It will take some time. And once this is done, let's verify that our pom.xml and the project is good. For that, you click on this right clicker on Maven and double click on verify. So verify is actually uh, it will verify all this uh, the pom.xml and the Maven project and it will create the necessary the very basic version of 1.0 snapshot. So it's building right now as we can see. Let me expand it. So it will take some time, uh, but I hope that it's all good. Yeah. So build success. It's a success that all our uh, .xml is good and after doing seeing this we can ensure that in this left gutter of project if you click on external libraries we can see all those Maven dependencies libraries that we have put so we'll we'll spring spark core spark sql everything that we need for this project so guys this was all about this uh, setting up this Maven project in the next video we'll start writing the actual code so see you all in the next video